Hello and welcome to this video and the first thing I want to say is that I am so sorry for the overused music. The YouTube audio library is really small and there's not enough music to choose from and so all of my videos have all the same songs on and I'm getting sick of it and I'm sure you're getting sick of it as well and I don't know what to do about it and unless any of you know where I can get some royalty free music from that'd be really helpful if you could like leave any comments about that um because yeah i'm getting fed up so <laughs> sorry anyway that was not a good way to start the video but yeah this is a kind of cruise boat canal boat house it's like modern and it could be like a holiday home or it could just be someone's actual house this could be where they live they could just live on a boat full time um and yeah it was quite a struggle trying to figure out how to make it look like a boat on the water but yeah i kind of I think I did an alright job um, of trying to make it look like it wasn't just a platform. Yeah, it kind of looks like some cruise ships that I've seen um, with like the rounded decks all like layered up like that. So yeah, I thought it looked pretty good. Put a lot of glass in, made it look really modern. And yeah, I also um, made the surrounding area look um, like a kind of holiday cruise port I don't know <laughs> I think I know what I mean but um, you don't get to see me doing all the landscaping but you'll see it in the screenshots um, and yes yeah, so I put these smaller windows on the bottom deck just because I thought well if the waves start picking up really bad then you probably don't want these big windows you probably want little windows that aren't gonna you know smash or like let water in I don't know I just feel like on the bottom deck of boats they don't have big windows so it just looks more realistic having smaller windows on the bottom deck um it took me ages deciding on the fencing so i'm really sorry about that you'll see me like change your mind a million times because we've got quite a few glass fences and i definitely wanted glass i knew that because i wanted it to look all sleek and modern I just kept changing my mind about which glass fence I wanted um, and yeah I just wasn't sure about how I wanted the boat to look on the outside some of the time because originally I did want it to look all like white and modern but I was worried that it looked too boring so but I think I think it looked alright in the end so you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments um, and yeah if you didn't know already as well, I've got a new LP out that I've been working on. It's a vampire let's play. And uh, yeah, it's about this girl who is um, being held hostage by a master vampire. And he is just using her like for her blood. He just drinks from her and keeps her in his basement. And I won't give any spoilers, but I think you should check that out because it's my, well, it's not my first LP, but it's my first proper LP. Um, my first LP was actually um, a, I tried to make it into a game. I tried to do Monopoly in The Sims and it kind of failed. So this is my first real LP. Um, and yeah, if you like the vampire stuff pack and if you like drama and death and the sims and <laughs> I think you'll like it so yeah check that out um, and yeah if you want to download this house uh, it's on the gallery um, I'll yeah if you search the hashtag KXYZY on the sims 4 gallery then you can download this house so that's pretty cool um, and yeah I put it on quite a big lot but I mean you could always just take the boat and I don't know put it on a smaller lot if you really wanted to um, yeah so that's kind of the cool thing about this you could just take the boat maybe and just put it wherever you want um, so yeah I put the bedroom on the top deck here originally I wanted to make this top deck like um, a captain's quarters like with a steering wheel and everything but I just when I really thought about it I was like how am I gonna like get a, a boat like steering wheel and stuff and make it look like the control center for the boat you know like the um driving part like the captain's quarters i don't know i wasn't sure how to make it look like yeah like a boat <laughs> so i just put the bedroom on the top instead and i'm just going to pretend that all of the boaty technical driving stuff is all 
below deck because we don't really need that in The Sims. Um, so yeah, you'll just have to pretend it's below the deck. And yes, yeah, so down here we have, it's quite open plan. Um, we just have a bathroom separating off the kitchen from the living room area. And I don't technically include a dining room. I just kind of put some bar stools around uh, that, um, those countertops. And I wanted it to look like a really entertaining space, so that's why it's so open and that's why the cooker is inside the counters so that you can like entertain people and they can watch you as you're cooking and I thought that would just be really cool so yes now I'm doing the living room and I couldn't decide what chairs I wanted to use I really like those high back ones I just think they're so cool but I just I don't know they didn't work with the layout that I was trying to do so I figured out in the end and I wanted to make it into a giant L-shaped couch but it was really glitchy and you could see the glitch and it, I don't know, it just kind of ruined it. So I just used that kind of slanted couch and I thought it looked really nice. And I do put a fireplace in, so this changes a little bit. Um, and yeah, just kind of put in random pieces of furniture around. Um, as well, if you have any ideas um, of any other builds you want me to do, um, I'm always open to suggestions. Um, people have left comments before and I've done um, the comments, so someone once left a comment for me to do Princess Bubblegum's Castle from Adventure Time, which is a cartoon, and I actually did that, so yeah, if you do leave me a comment on something you want me to do, I will most likely do it. Um, I'm up for trying anything, especially a challenge, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, just create like a little place for you to take off your shoes. I kind of always include those in houses, I just think, um, you know, as soon as you get into the house, um, you want to just like sit down, take your bag off, take your shoes and coat off and just chill. I don't know, it's not the same in everyone's house, I know some people don't take the shoes off when they go into their house, which I just think is like crazy because your carpet and your floors will get ruined, but you know, each to their own. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's another, like, there's a bar there and there's lots of drinks, it's very entertaining and it'd be quite a good house, boat house for a party, you could have a boat party. So yeah, there's um. I put out like a barbecue and stuff as well on the decks and the jacuzzi which I think look really cool. So yeah, that was what I was going for this. It's like a party boat and two people can live in it or sleep in it, sorry. I mean you could always have more people sleeping in it, they could sleep on the sofas but it won't be very comfortable. So yeah, only about two sims could actually live here comfortably. I could have made all the living and kitchen space a lot smaller. I, I was considering adding another bedroom because it would have fitted in, but I decided in the end that I just wanted one bedroom and then a large living space because I just wanted lots of space for them to chill out and entertain. So yeah, that's why it's like it is. And the layout in the living room really annoyed me. I couldn't figure out how to do it all because I also wanted to include a desk with a computer. Um, and I really wanted that globe to fit in because I just thought it, it really fit in with the idea that they're going traveling and it also fits, it's because the globe has um, alcohol in it as well so it fits in with the entertaining side. So yeah, I just had to fit it in somewhere and I do in the end and I really love that rug as well. So yeah, I cut the interior all kind of like white, black and then hints of blue and then also lots of plants just so that it looks really fresh and clean and simple and nice. I don't know, I really liked the interior in the end. Um, and yeah, I really like the rugs that we've got. We've got quite a lot of nice rugs in The Sims 4 now, which I am really happy about. Uh, and they really do make a difference to the room. I think if in doubt with the interior, just think, okay, have I added a lamp? Have I added a rug? You know, just go through like the basic stuff that maybe not every room needs but it just kind of adds a bit of decoration and function because I think it's hard to decorate stuff sometimes if, especially if you've got like large spaces just add rugs and lamps and chairs and 
it kind of sorts itself out. Um, yeah, I really love the tiling that I use as well. Um, that tiling is also on the top deck or middle deck, I'm not sure. But yeah, really nice tiling. Um, more plants in the bathroom, making it look fresh. Um, and yeah, I would love to go on a boat like this. Let me know if any of you guys have been on a boat like this or if you've been on a cruise or where you've been and if you've got a cruise boat because I would love to go on your cruise boat. I would love to have, you know, go on a travel. <laughs> I don't know, I love traveling as I'm sure most people do. It's just money in it though. So yeah, I think the bedroom looks really nice. It's all fresh and open. I kind of put curtains in all the corners as well just to make sure that they can have privacy if they want. But I mean, you're gonna be on the ocean most of the time so you're not gonna really need privacy unless you really don't want like seagulls to be watching you. I don't know. So yeah, I just extend that bottom deck a little bit and yeah, just putting in jacuzzi and things. But we are nearly at the end of the video so um you know what to do like if you like the video comment and stuff like i've said before subscribe for more um i hope you like the screenshots thank you for watching